Hey there! In this video, we'll create a quick and simple to-do list web application with the ABP framework, but we'll be using the minimalist singular template. So for this version of the video, the UI framework is going to be Blazor WebAssembly, and the database provider is going to be Entity Framework Core. And this is how it initially looks. It's a very simple to-do list web application, and we can type in something. Let's say feed the cat clean the house and for example make some coffee so we can type in and we can get the list and we can also delete let's get started and the first thing I'll do is copying the install command that will install the ABP CLI for me and I'm gonna open a terminal right here and I'm going to paste it right here, and as you can see, it's already been installed. Next up, I'm going to navigate to the desktop, and I'm going to create a new folder right here, and I'm going to call it to-do app, same name as our solution name, and I'll navigate to it. And after that, I can copy the command that will create the solution for me, but watch out, we are still in the preview version, so we're going to have to add some things to this command. I'll be using the same command, but I'm just going to add this part to specify the preview version. And I'm using the second release candidate version. And so depending on the date you're watching this video after its release, if the version right here is 7.1 as the latest or later, then you can use this command. If not, then use this command. So I'm going to copy it. And I'll get back to the terminal. And I'll paste it right here. And it's been created. Let's take a look. And this is how the minimalist startup template looks for Blazor WebAssembly. It's obviously different from the app or the domain driven design template. And it's also different from its fellow singular startup templates. It's only got these three projects, the Blazor project, the contracts project, and the host project. The Blazor project contains the Blazor code and the client side. The host project hosts and serves the Blazor application and the contracts project is a shared library between these two projects. And so let's get started by copying this command and let's go to the host directory and I'll open a terminal right here and I'm going to paste in the command right here. And this should create the database and see the initial data. And now let's run the project so we can take a look at it before we make any changes to it. And this is how it initially looks. Let's log in. And here is the template right off the bat. We have the administration section right here with both the tenant management and the identity management. And the tenant management allows you to create your own tenant with its own identity management. Or you can just use the identity management that you have right here for both users and roles. We've also got the project settings. Now let's stop running the project and get coding. And the first thing we'll do is defining the entity. This application has a single entity and we'll start by creating it. We're going to create a new to-do item class under the entities folder of the to-do app host project. I'm going to copy this. And here is the host project. And here is the entities folder. I'm going to create it right here. To-do item. Let's paste it. It'll inherit from basic aggregate root. And good is the primary key. And next up is database integration. We're going to open the to-do app db context class in the data folder. And we're going to add this db set property. And here is the data folder. Here is the to do app db context. And let's add it right here. Let's import the missing references. And then I'm going to copy the mapping code and put it in the on model creating method. Here is the on model creating method. And it's right here. Let's paste it right here. And by that, we've mapped the to do item entity to the to do items table in the database. And after that, we can code our first migration. I'm going to copy the command from here. And I'll get back to the directory of the host project. And I'm going to paste in the command right here. We'll obviously update the database as well. Let's copy this command. And let's paste it right here. And it's applied the migration. And next up, we're going to create the application service. 
An application service is used to perform the use cases of the application, and we need to perform the following use cases of the application. Getting the list of the to-do items, creating a new to-do item, and deleting an existing to-do item. Same as we saw at the beginning of the video. But before starting to implement these cases, we first need to create a DDO class that will be used in the application service. You see, application services typically get and return DDOs instead of entities. And so we need to create a new to-do item DDO class under the services and then the DDOs folder of the to-do app contracts project. So I'm going to copy this and I'll find the contracts project, the services and then the DDOs. And right here, I'm going to create it to do item DDO and I'll paste in the code right here. It's a very simple DDO class that matches our entity with both the text and the GUID. And now let's create the application service interface. We'll create a new I to do app service interface under the services folder of the contracts project. So let's copy this. We're still in the contracts project. And here's the services folder. Let's create it right here. I to do app service. And let's paste it in right here. And it's got our three use cases right here. And now since we're done with the contracts project, we can implement the application interface in the host project. We're going to create a new to do app service class under the services folder of the host project. Let's copy this and let's get back to the host project. And here is the services folder to do app service. And we'll paste it in right here. Now this class inherits from the application service class, which will help us implement those use cases, getting the list of the to do items, creating a new to do item and deleting an existing to do item. And it also implements our interface and we'll implement the methods right here. The first method we're going to copy is the getting the to do items, I'm going to copy it and I'll paste it right here. Then I'm going to copy the creating a new to do item method. I'll paste it right here. And last but not least, the deleting a to-do item method. Now, ABP provides default generic repositories, and we've used one right here. We've injected the I repository, which is the default repository for the to-do item entity. And then we've used its methods right here, the get list async, insert async, and the delete async. These are all standard repository methods to deal with the database. And now since we've implemented the application service, we can finally code our user interface. First up, we're going to copy the Razor C Sharp class. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to find it in the Blazor project pages and it's right here. And I'll paste it right here. Now this class uses the I to do app service to get the list of the to do items and it then manipulates the to do items list after each create and delete operation. And this way, we don't have to refresh the whole to-do list from the server every time we create or delete something. Next up, we're going to copy the Razor page. And it's right here. And we'll paste it right here. And last but not least, the styling. I'm going to copy it. And it is right here. Now we can finally take a look. And we've got it right here. This is our little minimalist to-do list application. Let's type something, feed the cat, clean the house, and make coffee, for example. So we can type in, we can get the list, and we can also delete. And that's how to create a minimalist to-do list web application with Blazor and Entity Framework Core. See you next time.